Welcome to the club and I'm dressed to kill. All right. Yeah, I'm from, I was born in Cleveland. Moved to Harlem, New York City when I was like two and a half years old. Mom's is a showbiz. You know what I'm saying? Met my step pops when I was like five and then we moved out to California. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might have seen pops. He's on, you know, uh, Grey's Anatomy, Dr. Richard Weber. Um, so I've been doing this music thing for a minute. For a minute. Uh, it's been a rap group with Omar Gooding. If you guys ever seen Smart Guy or Hang on Mr. Cooper or Playmakers, you know what I'm saying? Or a Baby Boy even, you know what I'm saying? We've been a group called The Mighty SOP, you know what I'm saying? Nothing bad happened, you know, we grew up. He went his way, I went my way, that's still my boy, he can rip it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now I'm part of Dam this Damn My Boy Productions thing. I'm Alias the Menace, the new kid on the block. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm a battlist more than anything. I'm a warrior, you know, on the microphone. I, I believe that I can't be beat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not saying that it's not possible, but in my mindset, I don't think it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's pretty much how I feel about it. Because I got a lot to say, and I think it's time for people to hear me. And this and this bullshit that's out right now is really, I don't like none of it. All of it sounds the same. It's still the same watered down BS. And it's got a guideline. It's, you're talking about your rims, you're talking about ass, you're talking about change, you're talking about killing somebody. I mean, I mean, once one person makes one record like that, you ain't got to listen to nobody else because they're going to come up with the same shit. I want to bring it back to hip hop. You know, when we had MCs, when people was battling, and, you know, we was having a good time with music. You know what I'm saying? Music was fun. Right now, music ain't fun. Yeah, it sounds fun, but the actual process isn't fun. It's too easy. It's no work in it. My songs about me, you know what I'm saying? About my attitude towards things. I'm real angry at the industry right now. So a lot of my songs reflect that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of my songs are about MCs, you know what I'm saying, about spitting, because that's what I'm about. Um, a, you know, a couple of my songs about the ladies, you know, having some fun, let's go out for a dance, you know, have a good time, but most of it is to let you know I'm not fucking around, you know what I'm saying, I'm here and I'm here for good. What did, what did your immediate uh, music career go? I want to, you know, I want to get my mixtape out there so everybody can hear me. Then, you know what I'm saying, then I'm gonna start working on the album. Trouble in Paradise is what I'm looking to call the album because, you know, they say California is paradise and I done had some trouble since I've been here. So, you know what I'm saying, plus a lot of people say I'm trouble. So, you know what I'm saying, so Trouble in Paradise is a good thing. So look out for that. Look out for that, you know, that Damn It Boy mixtape. That's gonna be the alias mixtape. That's that's when y'all gonna have to carry around a lot of Excedrin because I'm gonna bang y'all in your heads, you know what I'm saying. So get your Excedra ready, you know, get your drama mean, because I'm going to put you in motion. You might get motion sick, you know what I'm saying? And um, other than that, I want to make Trey as rich as possible. That's my ultimate goal. My career goal is to pay Alizé's college tuition, to pay Aaron's college tuition, to put Richard in the Bentley, put Moms in the Bentley, Sarah in the Bentley, Sedna. I'm going to get her a Honda Accord, because you know what I'm saying? She, she likes to drive a lot. You know what I'm saying? Take care of my kids. You know, I want, I want moms to be able to kick back. You know what I'm saying? I don't want pops to retire because I like seeing them on TV. Ultimately, I want to get enough money to get pops his own production company so he can make the movies that he want to make. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So. Papoose. Papoose, he cold. You know, I like a lot that he has to say. Uh, it used to be Eminem, but he's cliche. Not that he's a cliche, but everybody wants to battle him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the hotness. Uh, Papoose. Wordsworth, Pharaoh, you know what I'm saying, Shabam Sadiq, these are the cats that I would, I would love to battle, Defari, Evidence from Dilated People, you know what I'm saying, just a lot of those hip hop heads, you know, there's a lot of dudes that I really, really respect and admire, but I think, if anything, I think my ultimate battle would probably be KRS-1, you know what I'm saying, and that's just because he, you know, he is who he is. I really like to get a chance to work with Dre. Like I really like that opportunity to work with Dre and the Alchemist. You know, I said if I could work with any two producers in the industry, that's who they would definitely be. Um, I do a little. I also sing. You know what I'm saying. So that's another thing that I want to really work on. You know what I'm saying. And I, I got my motivation for that from Tyrese because you know Tyrese flipped it on. I mean, he flipped it. He showed everybody that he could do both, and he really did hold it down and do both. You know what I'm saying. So I would mind that. And I would love to go back to my old group. You know what I'm saying. Just for two songs or something. Me, Big O, Half Wit, Mark Measy, Bruce Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Give a shout out to the homie Fahrenheit, and we know you ain't around no more, homie, but you know, wherever you are, keep your head up, you know what I'm saying? And, and y'all Benicia niggas, y'all Poe ass niggas, my boy Stiley Ray, Focus, all y'all, man, it's gonna, we're gonna come back to it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it back. 
you know what I'm saying, where it used to be, you know what I'm saying. A lot of stuff went down, fellas, and we know what went down, but now it's a new year, it's a new time, so let's, you know what I'm saying, let's get together and do this, you know what I'm saying. And like I said, I also am working on, I got another um, production company that I work with called Trauma House. That's the other side of the family, so that's going to be a great thing. When my boy Space Touchdown, it's going to be, that damn my boy Trauma House, oh, it's going to be murder, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to, every, to all the movement, you know what I'm saying. So, Alias DBP, watch out for me, I'm coming for you. And if I'm pointing at you and you're feeling uncomfortable, then it's probably you I'm talking to. So watch me. I'm telling you, watch me out. Business.